Billy, you, you said that we're moving towards becoming avatars, and there's this movie as most of us have seen and are really excited about. Can you tell us well, if it, that's really something towards where we're, we're heading? I mean, what is there to learn here? Uh, all right, let, let's, let's, let me just list a few avatars that have existed uh, in our world, and, and they're, all, they're all Christ's, okay? They, they all have manifested uh, higher dimensional abilities. It's just, it's just physics, okay? Mm -hmm. And this, these, some of these are Krishna, Melchizedek, Moses, Lutzow, Confucius, Buddha, Jesus, Mohammed, Abdu'l-Baha. Um, at the moment, one of the closest ones that uh, in that realm is Sai Baba, probably in mm. India. Um, the, this, the, we have the capabilities of becoming this. Now, it won't manifest in space-time. In, in our evolutionary process, we are going to be evolving and into the vacuum domain, the non-spatial, non-temporal, which is a kind of frequency domain. And every, every different level, that is the magnetic information wave domain is one level, and that'll be the dominant one in our next ep epoch. And, and then the next level after that will be the emotion domain, and that will be... In, another epoch, and then the level beyond that will be the mind domain, another epoch, and eventually the spirit domain, that will be, we will then, we will then have manifested all of the abilities of the supermost avatar you might want to consider. But mm -hmm. we will look very differently. We will, we will become co-creators mm -hmm. in big time. I mean, really big time. But we've got a lot to learn. So, we, James, really Cameron, just... so James Cameron has a wild Im imagination, but uh, not that much, huh? <laughs> uh, yes, in fact, we're not, we're not very coherent. As we, as we go to the subsequent epochs, we'll become more and more coherent, which will bring us closer and closer to what we would call the divine, whatever that is. Um, but we will manifest these abilities big time. When I say big time, I mean creating planets and stars. Wow. But uh -huh. we won't be blue. <laughs> I don't think we'll be blue. <laughs> but we'll be beautiful. We will be beautiful. So, so you loved the movie, huh? You've enjoyed it. I enjoyed it greatly. I was struck by the beauty of it and, of course, the age-old contest between a society which is not aware of the capabilities different than their society. Again, they were stuck in the internal self-consistency issue, and their hubris made them think that what they thought was uh, an inferior culture had nothing truly special to offer. And it's, it's an age-old story, um, but it's a true story. It's a real story. And so I, I enjoyed that conflict as well. Yeah. So, How did you like it, the main character, John, that, uh, that started really a, a bit shy and not knowing much, and in the end he turned out to really open up himself to... That, that, that's, that, it's there for everyone. It's there for every single one of your listeners to manifest these enhanced capabilities if they will do the work, if mm -hmm. they will open themselves up to the possibility with discrimination, but becoming aware and more and more aware, building themselves so spirit enters, building themselves, more spirit enters, they become more and more aware. That's the, that's the process. It's a bootstrap process and every one of us can do it. And exponentially. It grows exponentially. Uh, yeah. yeah, the more you do it, the more you can do it. Mm. Yeah. What, you, yeah. what you feed on, you become. Thank you so, so much, Bill. I'm, I'm excited to put this online very, very soon.